highway, in case you don't know, starts way up above and ends way down below. It starts far beyond where the astronauts go, and far, far beyond where the Groo Grusters grow. The Hoober Boob Highway gets steeper than steep, where the many moons sleep and the blue bleepers bleep. Then far, far above, if you see what I mean, far above the beneath and betwixt the between. That's where Hooper Blue works at the job that he's got. I am really not sure if he likes it or not. Shoo, shoo, oh, oh, oh. Away with you. Kindly shove off. We are about to use the runway. Go on. Vamoose. I, of course, am Mr. Hooberbloob, the dispatcher. Please. This is the place we dispatch them from. Down there is the place we dispatch them to. And this is how we go about it. Adjust the contipulator. First, the carriage. The occupant. Please. I hope you're quite comfortable. Now, we don't send them down unprepared like we used to. In these modern days, we brief them scientifically. The big telescope, please. The big telescope, please. Now, before we ship you down to Earth in your very special cart, we're going to be quite honest. And you'll listen if you're smart. I hope you can see clearly. A hole, please. There are so many places to send you that it's really only fair to give you some idea as to what goes on down there. And wherever you go, I want you to know that you're going to find some problems. For example... You might live in this lovely palace in Bajanajistan. And you might think that that would make you a very lucky little man. But... Very frankly, the attic is simply infested with tigers. <laughs> On the other hand, though, you could very, very possibly go to a most attractive smallish town called North Ninza Scrinzabo. Here the snow is crisp and clear. There are no tigers here to fear. I'm sorry to inform you that you'd have to learn how to milk a walrus. Sent to the town of Gazer, where the beautiful sidewalks go every which where, and you live in this happy home high in the air, with your bedroom up here and your bathroom up there. And that's 
just the way it is, bub. You're apt to get stuck. And the place that you live in is, quite frankly, a matter of luck. The hometown selection contraption, please. Wherever the flubble-dooble stops, that's the place you'll go to. We are delighted to be able to announce that this fortunate little fella has won the jackpot and the privilege of living in the town of West Wachacatella. Congratulations. As I said, congratulations. This is the future viewing contraption. Now, before we actually send you down, we must show you what is going to happen to you down there in that town. And, Bub, if you don't like it, if you have the slightest doubt, and you don't want to go, just tell us so, and your trip will be canceled out. It's a deal? <laughs> Roll the reel. This is your life in West Wachacatella. You've got your work cut out, young fellow, in as much as you've got to learn to do things such as... Put on your socks. Now your shirt. Now your britches. No, no scratching, no matter how it itches. Keep your fingers occupied with more important things. Scrub out the bathtub. Never leave rings. Learn to use your toothbrush. Learn to use your hairbrush. Learn to use your shoe brush. Tie a knot, what a knot. Take a look at what you've got. Answer the doorbell. Hang up your pajamas. Turn the television off. Turn the frizzolator on. Answer the doorbell. Socks. Shirt. Itches. Bridges. Toothbrush. Hairbrush. Carry out the garbage can. Such an awkward little man. I warned you, bub. Things move pretty fast down there. And also, sometimes things move very slowly. And you'll be there among the daisies Beneath a beautiful bright blue sky Past the half mile post, it's creeping Katie in the lead, a nose ahead of Soggy Toast. And way back along the rail, what's the name of that there snail? Why, it's Leaping Luella, showing unexpected strength. It's Leaping Luella by Ted Long Lake. <laughs> sure you're quite comfortable? Well then, we will take up where your mother left off. If equilateral triangles meet with quadrilateral rhomboids causing mathematical adenoids, I give you this little problem, bub. Can you pop? 
postulate, rectangulate, the conical coordinate of the parametric, heptotetric, thromboremic, globo, three, big isolodial cosmic, weight of the non-recurring distillate of the paranoidal dip. Oh. And that's just the beginning, Bob, beginning, Bob, beginning, Bob. Your head will really start spinning, Bob, when you take up theology. Biology, geology, theology, monology, psychology, ideology, chronology, prunology, pharmacology, splatology, physiology, thatology, and jump and jolly, oh my golly gee! Oh, 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 the things you have to know. Ebenezer, this is Sir Frederick von Gorn Pleaser. And this is Sir Alfred Flutha, Hilary Bellary Blair. Oh my gracious goodness, but the things you've got to learn. You'll have to know why do cows chew their cuts, and why are fiddle distance always blowing suds. You'll have to learn the smell of the pipulated pinkweed, how it differs from the smell of the stipulated stinkweed. Pyramids, how deep is the river Nile? And how many teeth did a crocodile smile? And how many bones is a diplodocus? And how many bones is a rapporaporinkodipopodulatophicus? Will he want to go down there? How do you bet? Have you come to any decision as yet? You'd like to see a little more, maybe? Huh? 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 I know the way you feel, bub. But cheer up, we made a deal, bub. You don't have to be a human, not at all. Not at all. I agree with you, bub. It's a rough decision to make. Maybe you don't want to go down to Earth as a child. You have innumerable choices. There are unlimited possibilities. Just tell me what you wish you were, bub. Tell me the shape that you prefer, bub. It's no trouble to make you what you want. No trouble, bub, at all. Something like him. Or her. Or those. Or them. Or a tizzle top tufted salubrian snipe. You can be one of them if you uh, care for that type. However, on the other hand, though, here's the way you conceivably might like to go. This is our latest two-tone model of the always popular six-footed bottle. Still, on the other hand, other hand, though, there's the hammocka, schlippicka, schloppicka, schlow. On the other hand, other hand, other hand, though, if you think that's too slow, there are more ways to go. You can be anything, but don't you know? But on the other hand, other hand, other, other, other hand, still another hand, another hand, another hand, still another hand, another hand, another hand, on the other hand, the other hand, another hand, on the other hand, other, other, other hand, on the other hand, though. Tough, isn't it? Making up your mind. You still considering maybe going to Earth as a human? Then let's take another look at what would happen if you went there. It won't be all bad. Some nice things happen down there. 
it's fun to be a human when the sun is shining bright. It's fun to be a human when the fish begin to bite. It's fun to be a human when you're zipping and you zoom in. And slurping also makes it fun. Fun to be a human. I regret to have to inform you that human beings are apt to get sick. It's good to be a human when the trees are getting green. It's fun to be a breathing when the air is fresh and clean. It's fun to be a human when sweet daffodils are blooming. F U N R. Fun to be a human. I regret to have to inform you, you will lose an occasional tooth. It's fun to be a human when you're showing off your dive. And when you're on vacation, it's so great to be alive. I also regret to have to inform you, your vacation has just ended. You have now reached a point in your education when it's time to think about your future. What do you want to be when you grow up? A soldier? A sailor? A politician? A tailor? Maybe you're cut out to be a musician. Let's see if you have any talent. Maybe you ought to try the piano. One and two and three and four and... has any mechanical ability. What do you do when a snorkin goes slump and its front part starts sagging and so does its rock and it falls apart with a ghastly gun What do you do when a snorkin goes slump it's really quite simple to put it together. The gicular snorkel fits into the gourd. The thrombinbulocket fits into the scrocket. And the scrotular glocket fits into the schnorr. And now you pick up the sprungated what's this? Releasing the pressurized. What have we got this? Well, maybe you're not mechanically inclined. How would you like to be a famous Tweedle Beetle statistician? You could be the world's greatest authority on Tweedle Beetle ballistics if you study Tweedle Beetles and their ballistic characteristics. Now, when Tweedle Beetles fight, it's called a Tweedle Beetle battle. And when they battle in a puddle, it's a Tweedle Beetle puddle battle. And when Tweedle Beetles battle with paddles in a puddle, they call it a Tweedle Beetle Puddle Paddle Battle. 
Und wenn Beatles Battle Beatles in a Puddle Paddle Battle und the Beatles Battle Puddle is a Puddle in a Bottle, they call this a Tweedle Beatle Bottle Puddle Paddle Battle Muddle. Und wenn Beatles find these battles in a bottle with their paddles und the bottles on a Puddle und the Puddles eat noodles, they call this a Muddle Puddle Tweedle Poodle Beetle Noodle Bottle Paddle Battle. Und... Stop it! Stop it! I can't stand it! That world is a vastly cruddy bloody bore! You're much too nice a fella. I'm not going to send you there. Now what are you trying to say? Hmm. I guess you're right. I sort of broke a rule. I am supposed to be neutral. My apologies, bub. But I must perform the job for which I'm paid. You'll just have to see the rest of the picture, I'm afraid. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We've got a pretty hopeless case here. Maybe it would help if we ask him a few very simple questions. A few simple questions, just check them as they go. All you have to do, young man, is answer yes or no. Do you believe in hydroponics? Answer yes or no. Are you any good at microgonics? Answer yes or no. Are you religious? Do you ever stumble? Do you have bad dreams? Does your belly ever rumble? If you hope to win, keep up your chin and answer yes or no. Has your old man paid his income tax? Oh, you are so slow. Would you marry a quipper quacks? Answer yes or no. Do your feet get sore? Does your uncle snore? How do you feel about going to war? If you want to succeed, speed up your speed and answer yes or no. Are you, are you, will you, won't you answer yes or no? Will you, won't you, do you, don't you answer yes or no? Are you, are you, will you, won't you answer yes or no? Will you, won't you, do you, don't you answer yes or no? And millions more questions you'll have to try to answer in the biggest question mark factory in the universe. Well, that's the situation downstairs on the Earth. And it's time for you to vote, Bub. Do you or don't you want to go there? Answer yes or no. Come on, cooperate. You're holding up the entire production line. Do you or don't you? Do you or don't you want to go there? <laughs> he votes in the affirmative. Look out below! Here comes a good one! Good luck, Bob, to you, Bob, as you scale down the skyway. You're ahead for the earth, Bob, on the Hooper Blue Highway. Let's give the kid a cheer. Happy birthday!